Welcome to Indie Resources 38th video on how to make a browser MMO. This is Halls of Hollow. We're going to continue right where we left off. We've added this little segment, um, and of course, it's not correct. We uh, it doesn't. We're, all we're doing is basically creating a form to insert the weapon. So we need to go to our database, and we've got nine name, rating, and price. So let's change this to name. rating price make sure what we're going to pass is the same rating and price um, rating doesn't have to be that many it can be about four so let's go back and now we need class level hit text oops which class will eventually be a drop-down box whoops wrong one right yeah no I actually went over price that was the problem okay now let's do level and hit text change these and we're almost done hit text we could make this like with a big column or whatever but I, I don't want anybody to put anything in there too big because what's our max that we set on that um, look at structure real quick 80 characters so I mean you could you could change that to 80 and the last thing we have is damage. Change that to 80. Tell you what, let's just copy this one so I don't have to do any changes. Class one change to 20. And then we have damage. Okay. So that should give us a nice little form when we go to it and there's our form so now we can just go in and enter the name and rating everything and now we need that, that form to actually do something so we're going to kinda copy this right here I'm gonna change it to a 2 since that's what we're sending and we're basically just going to insert what's in there and we can kind of steal probably from somewhere right here um, a good insert right there uh, where am I at? there we go and actually we could probably steal it right from here and it would be a lot easier right there Except for we would just want to enter it into weapons. PID could have swore the PID was um was actually oh yeah yeah because that's the actual inventory. I'm looking at it wrong. This is auto set in the in the weapons, so we don't need that. Name, rating, level, randed, price, class, hit text, and damage. So now all we got to do is make those fit. So we need to. We need to set those variables. So we want uh, name equals post name. And we're going to make this real quick. Rating. It looks like we've got rating. Um, next one is level. That says W level, so I'm going to change that just to level. Um, next is randed. It doesn't need a randed. Random ID. Let's get rid of that. That was only for inventory. And next is price. So let's add the price. Okay. 
Next is class. Like I said, we'll make this a drop down eventually. For now, I'm just creating it. And hit text. And we'll do a hit text. So I believe that's how I did it up here. Double check. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then we'll do our damage and we'll be done. At least I hope so. Okay, so let's test her out, but let's echo. And just echo out. Come on. Uh, weapon added. So they know that it happened. We, of course, want to drop this down too. And before we test this, let's go ahead and get this class thing right, just so we have it done. If you want to go over to register, and we can just grab this class uh, option class. We can put it where it says class. Put it right there. We can paste it. Knock out this print. Um, blah, blah, blah. Knock out. Let's just change this to echo. And let's knock out this inline. And that should fix this. The only thing I, th I see us missing is we're missing an any. There's got to be an option for any. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's um, we can actually take this out, take this out, and we can do any, and you can make that an option selected if you want. I, I'm really not going to worry about it, but that is one option that we do need to add to it. Um, I think we're good there. Let's give her a try. There we go. Um, Yeah, there's our any, our warrior, our wizard, assassin, knight, all that good stuff. So let's create a let's create a new weapon. The only thing, and and I've actually ran into this problem more times than once. Um, you notice how I can't click here. There's nothing there up here. I can, but here I can't. That is because there's a div in the way. And if we go down here and hit it, inspect element, you'll see there's a div right in the way, and it looks to be that login div, login to div. Um, if I remove that div, the, the divs on this are really messed up and I don't like it and that's what I'm talking about. I want to redo it. So I'm just kind of temporary fixing things for now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a tempor temporary fix in the very next set of videos. We're going to work on the CSS and get it to where it's centered to the screen, looking pretty, and a lot better than it is now. Um, a lot of this CSS has been thrown in here just to kind of get us by until I was ready for a good CSS video. And I know CSS can be pretty boring sometimes, so I didn't want to throw it in the beginning. So let's find in that. Let's find this login two. Let's just copy. Let's paste it. And I'm just going to call it login three temporarily. And I'm going to I'm going to drop it down to about 600. I think that'll work, but I'm not going to be positive. I'm not quite sure. But let's let's give her let's give her a test. And then we're going to change that to login three. We're going to refresh it and yes we can now submit and type in there so let's do a new weapon and this one will be just we'll call it a knife rating of one price of ten uh, I'm gonna let any class choose it level of one hit text of slices uh, I'm, I don't remember how the, the hit text went let's see stabs of that oh so we want to do um, slices with knife and probably need to lowercase that um, damage will make it just one I'm not, I'm not too interested and hit submit and here we go here's our errors yay um, undefined index player on line six password on line seven did I leave something out oh uh, there it is it's trying to go to reg user because I didn't change it in the form so how many of you guys noticed that while I was doing it this needs to go to admin and oops, yes admin.php and then we actually need to set this to um, add weapon 2 equals 1 oops okay um, maybe now we'll be good. I'm going to go back and 
I'm gonna have to refresh. Oops. So let's do it again real quick. One price ten any level one hit text slices with knife damage one submit. And to find the next class, and I already know where I messed up there. If you notice, there on this when it's sending this um when it's sending this over, it's sending class choice and not class. So that's another one, another mess up. Okay. It says the weapon's added. It's just going to end up blank, being blank. But um, uh, we can go back to add weapon, and if you notice, the class will be blank. But in weapons, we now have a knife, and I can just edit this and put any in there. But it should work from now on. Go. <coughs> you see, it's added. It slices with knife. So just an easy way for and just to test it again. Um, sword rating two, price twenty three. And this time we'll make it like a warrior. We'll do two hit text swings. Or just throwing some stuff up here and submit. And weapon added. So we go into here, go into weapons, and there's our sword added with a warrior. Everything. So <clears throat> real easy way to just to have a uh, an admin back end where you can come in here and add things. And we can do items. We can do armor, and it makes it really easy. And if you want to sign. And here's the next thing we're going to do at, at, on the next video is we're going to make only certain of these options, and I'm going to create a bunch more options in here. Um, only certain of these will be accessible to the GM. Like I want to put another set of panel in here that's going to um, be able to give credits or um, whatever it may be, whatever else we want to do. You know, add some experience to uh, or level or whatever to a, a player.